Hey love bugs, it's Roz, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, thank you so much for taking the time out just to drop a line or two just to let me know about what's going on with your life and just opening up to different possibilities. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while what are you waiting for like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video and if you feel comfortable enough oh goodness if you feel comfortable enough go ahead and drop me a line until I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me or even if it's about the positive feedback of the video or you're just opening up to tell me about your impact gift, how it impacted your life, and how it brought you here today. Or if you feel like the video just gave you good vibe, or it just gave you good insight. You know, you feel like, hey, you know, my friend might want to hear this. You know, she's going through some stuff too. Or hey, my my friend's going through this. He might, you know, he might want to know this too. You know, go ahead and pass it on, or give me a thumbs up, or like and even share on your social media sites. And I hope you're able to get something out of my video today. And you know, hope you're, you know, thank you for stopping by. And today I'm listening to you see positive energy, meditation music, chakra balancing and healing music, relaxing mind, body, and inner peace. I will post that link in the description box below. It is such a peaceful meditation. I was meditating to it for a few minutes before I started uh, doing my video. But um, today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Wiccans, when you feel like you have been cursed or somebody's put a spell on you. You know, I made me think about that song, I put a spell on you. But yeah. I've had somebody put a spell on me um, before and I mean, it was just like crazy because I knew I was doing a video, it was like about, let me see, it was probably about four or five months ago, and somebody put uh, a spell on me that had somebody do some little mojo, hoodoo, voodoo stuff on me, and it's like, I can feel it. It was just like, you know, my, my house was in an uproar, and I was just like, what's going on? And it's just like signs to know that, you know, especially if you're a white witch, or you practice paganism, or just you know, wicked, um, with just with nature, some people feel intimidated by us, you know, um, some people can't get jealous or whatever, or just can be intimidated just because you are being you, you can get dressed and just have a smile on your face and it can be too much, but these are a couple of signs to let you know, you know, if somebody has put something on you and I can just tell you certain things that you can be able to do with yourself, um, to be able to get balance back, you know, um, but uh, it's just that you might feel drained. You know, you'll have a sudden, um, you know, where you can't sleep. You know, there's sometimes people have put, I've, I've heard, you know, of close friends having people mess with them to the point where they felt paranoid. Like there was somebody after them or they can be in the house alone and they feel like they're being watched. And, you know, somebody's playing with them. It's just it's like mind, mind games. And, um... You will feel drained, like, you, you could even sleep for, like, six or seven hours, even get 12 hours of sleep, you still don't feel like you're, you're able to, um, have enough energy, and, um, what else is the other one, is, is either, you know, the drain, you will have, like, a lot of misfortune, there are some times people can put hexes on you that can make, you know, people die. You have people dying around you, people are suffering, you have financial just drop, just like, it can be feeling like you have, like a, 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 you know, a cloud of rain just over your head all the time, and it can be, no telling what situation you're in, but those are the signs that you can look for, you know, people dying around you, you know, people just, you know, you're distancing yourself away from your family, your family's distancing yourself away from you, um, and it could not, it's not just with the awakening thing, it's something more deep than that, so the best things that you can do is just light, light a white candle, uh, put, like, salt, if you have rugs in your house, put salt in your house, and, you know, uh, 
put salt on your rugs and say a prayer, you know, go through every room, light sage, um, and just say that you want to protect yourself in love and light and take whatever negative energy that is on, on or around you and um, just cast it out the door. And you, if you can go ahead and make your own room through the twigs and the leaves, you ask nature, is it okay if they bless the, the things that you're taking from nature to make your own broom and sweep whatever doors you have to make sure all the doors uh, in your house are open you have to start from the back to work yourself back up to the front and go ahead and sweep out the front door and the best thing is it's just like if somebody puts a spell on you and people don't think about these things they, they think about you know wanting things right now or they wanting things their way but they don't know when you put spells on people and you're not doing um, good intentions it's going to come back to you and then when it comes back to them it's going to be ten times fold that's why it's just like you know when people have done you wrong or they have hurt you in some kind of way allow nature to take its course allow the universe to know the universe knows it's just like when people are, are like that it eventually comes back to them because I've, I've seen it i've seen it and i i couldn't even be aware of it like people are wish things on me it's just the fact that you wishing things on me you don't realize it's messing yourself up you're you're blocking your blessings you're cutting your blessings actually so it's just like when I when things go on like that, I'm just like, okay, I say my prayer and take those take my power back, be able to bless myself, you know, light candles around my house, you know, write you know, have sage, you know, do the incense with jasmine and lavender. If you you know, if you're not allergic to lavender, you can take showers and baths, bathe in it. And that can help as uh, well. Also, it's just like some rooms I put my vinegar, water, and sea salt in certain places of the house just to absorb the negative energy in the house. You can actually see it in the cup. So hopefully these things will be able to help you. Um, if you want to do more research on how to do things um, to be able to protect yourself in white light, you know, I, especially when I able to tap to people when they're asking me if they can if I can help them in any kind of way because I help heal people at, um, with certain things that they're going through and it's just certain times when I first started doing it it was really hard because when I would be able to take their things away it would really work for them but then their their emotions their tragedies their sicknesses whatever addictions they were on to it was getting attached to me and messing me up so it you know when i was doing that i had to be able to take it and put it in its rightful place send it back where it needed to be not for me to hold on to these things and i had to be able to practice those things so there was a lot of times that i was putting sea salt or epsom salt in my water or you know, just bathing with lavender and things like that. But just protect yourself from white light. You know, if you have bay leaves, you can, you know, like bay leaves and, you know, put bright things down on there that you specifically want. If you have um, any kind of uh, idea who has put these things on you, you can just send blessings right back to them. You don't have to wish anything that on them. Just tell them, return it back to sender, and you're returning whatever they sent you is in a bad light towards you. You can bless them whatever they sent you and you can send it back in blessings and you leave it for where it is you just ask the universe you know hey such and such has put this curse on me or I think this person has put this curse on me whoever or you, you can even just put it to the universe after you like the bay leaf whoever's putting harm towards me I want to send it back but send it back in good intentions put it put it back in blessings so make sure when you're 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 sending these things back you're putting it back in good intentions don't you can't have an evil heart when you put it back because if you do it's it's just going to be like rubber and glue it's going to bounce back and come right back and then it's going to be double on top of that so just be careful when you're doing things like that and just monitor you know things around you and you know there's more research you can probably do to just basically you know um know if there's somebody put a spell on you or it just sent bad vibes your way so i hope you were able to uh resonate with this video if you found kind of comfort or validation in it you know to not so much love and light and positivity as you possibly can and like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video 
or even drop me a line or two. I'd love a chance to get to know you as much as you get to know me. Or, you know, send out my, send out, you can go ahead and share my video also into your social media wherever you see fit. So, send out as much love and positivity as you possibly can. I don't know, I said that twice, but, you know, you gotta make sure you do that. Um, when you feel somebody, your, your frequency down or somebody else is down, go ahead and raise the you know, help them raise it up. Especially if you feel bad, you know, doing something kind for the next person, the next fellow person. You know, it makes you feel kind of good. And, you know, at least with me it does. So, you know, I hope you had a blessed week or, you know, you have a, a, a live out weekend or a lit up weekend, whatever y'all want to call it. Um, and I hope you have a blessed week. And I will talk to you on my next video. Peace and be wild.